Rahim, the All Merciful and the Most Merciful. He is Allah. There is no God but Him. He is the knower of the unseen and the visible. He is the All Merciful, the Most Merciful. The infinite compassion and favor of Allah, the All Merciful, is represented in everything, visible or not. It is these, visible and invisible blessings that allow man to survive. Allah's mercy is everywhere. For instance, it is Allah who every day causes billions of seeds to sprout up from under the ground, who covers the whole planet with its internal temperature of 4,500 degrees with fertile soil, who causes tons of life-giving water to fall from the sky, who at the same time provides food for all the billions of living things all over the world, who creates the oxygen that fills our lungs every minute and surrounds the countless things he has created with life-giving blessings. It is Allah who creates every single one of the 100 trillion cells in the human body, who teaches each one its own duties, who places the DNA that contains one million pages of information in each one, who has the whole system constructed by protein, fat and water molecules that he has squeezed into an area much smaller than a millimeter across, and uses these to give life to man and allow him to survive. From the moment they are born until they return to the soil, people know and recognize only the blessings bestowed upon them by Allah and live thanks to them. In the same way that some people see these blessings, understand the purpose behind their creation and serve Allah, there are others who are ungrateful and turn their backs on Him. Despite this, Allah still manifests His attribute of all merciful in the most supreme way. Those who disbelieve still benefit from the air they breathe, the water they drink, and all the visible and invisible blessings in the life of this world. Allah gives them possessions, the nice houses they live in, and children to continue their lines, just as He does to believers. He gives them good provisions too, he gives them health, strength, and beauty. That is a manifestation of his attribute of the All-Merciful. Allah allows unbelievers to benefit from such things in the hope that maybe they will turn to religion, come to their reason, and give thanks. Yet it must not be forgotten that those who turn their backs on Allah's verses will only be able to enjoy His blessings in this world. In the hereafter, all blessings will only belong to the faithful who use the favors given them by Allah in order to draw closer to Him, seek His good pleasure, and give thanks. This is a manifestation of Allah's attribute of the Most Merciful.